we're just gonna have to call these ghetto cinderella in life where is anybody going with these what are those what are those oh my gosh oh my god the beautiful people welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well today i decided to go onto an online store that i see all the time particularly in the shoe department and you know what i'm not gonna lie i can sometimes be you know considered a shoe snob not necessarily a shoe snob but you guys know i have the issue my feet are on the larger side and you know i've been called boat feet or truck foot or you know just platypus and it isn't great it isn't great and i'm not gonna lie my feet kind of they're all right but you know they don't get much love because you know they're not my favorite part of me because i'm actually only like five foot five foot four five foot five but why are my feet so extra long i'm a uk size eight which is like a us size nine ten where does it add up it's annoying but you know what we make it work so i decided to scope the internet and i have gone onto ego official and bought a, a ton a ton of shoes that i wanted to try we're gonna get into it okay they had a lot and perspex why do the stores have to kill me with perspex however for some reason i feel slightly swayed like i almost like perspex shoes right about now so i'm going to share with you my shopping experience and then we are going to try on some of the goodies now before we get into this video your girl has been sponsored by audible so thank you very much i feel like audible is about to be the perfect summertime companion you guys know i love my fashion and my makeup and buying clothing and all that stuff but i like to stay educated you know i like to keep my brain filled just as well and audible is amazing when it comes to being able to multitask and do stuff on the go summer is here a lot of us are going to be getting on planes on coaches sunbathing and you can't always have a physical book i personally love to listen to audiobooks especially when it comes to like doing the housework or doing other stuff because i'm trying to do two things at the same time and if you guys don't know what Audible is, basically they have a huge catalog of books that are in an Audible form. So if you don't wanna physically read or there's a title that you like, they've probably got it in their roster of books and you can literally put your headphones in and listen to those books i am currently listening to the chimp paradox which is all about mind management and i love finding out the science about why we do certain things the way we do especially based on just human biology and human psychology versus environment as well so this is a really really good book that i've just started listening to now as this is in partnership with audible they have been able to give me a little bit of an offer for you guys you guys start a 30 day trip trial you're able to get your first audiobook for free so you need to go to audible.com forward slash patricia audible.com forward slash patricia my name p-a-t-r-i-c-i-a -I -I -A. and you can also text if you're in the usa patricia to 500 500 oh my gosh i feel like a salesperson right now <laughs> and that way you'll be able to start your 30 day trial and get your first book for free i love audible i think it's fantastic i have one and it's so worth it. So I'm very glad that they're sponsoring my video. And I think we can now talk about some shoes. Okay, different change because it's actually the next day. Because I took a look at my toes and I was like, no, not today, Satan. No one needs to see these. So I basically went and had the pedicure yesterday and then I'm reshooting right now. And I can actually unbox the goodies that I have from Ego. This box is actually insane. <gasps> yeah. So this is the size of the box. It's mahoosive and it's really, really, really heavy because I ordered a fair few number of pairs. Oh, there's so many shoes in there. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit of a gray mule. I like the color and I like the texture. Now they're kind of giving me dagger, but not like major dagger. Like it's a, it's a respectable dagger, it's not too sharp. Your eyes will remain in place. But I can't lie, there's a little bit of glue visible, but you know, sometimes I find that the shoes from these websites are kind of like that. And I really like the fabric. I really like this kind of soft, weird texture. Okay. Oh, I love a mule, you know. I love a mule. Is it just me? You know what, I fit slightly. I mean, I feel like I could go one size up, but I feel like it makes my feet look really cute. 
The spear isn't too much of a spear, but what I've got to say I love is that this bit, it's not too big. We don't need to see the knuckle of the toe, and we are not showing the knuckle of the toe. I like this, I think this is nice. They're really comfortable. This like Lycra-esque material is nice and soft. I like this. Oh my gosh, so this is nude Lycra. Who knew there was Lycra in a shoe? They had actually a flip-flop, a heeled flip-flop of the same material. I wasn't gonna come up here in a heeled flip-flop because the insults I would've thrown around would've been absolutely terribly brutal. But let me know, would any of you guys be wearing a heel flip-flop? Oh my gosh, and then a shoe made out of Lycra. Well, it's a new dawn in fashion. These, I know they look weird, but I have a feeling that they would have looked good on. So I need to get these on. It's weird, it's like the shoe looks ugly off, but on it looks cute. Like this is what I love in a shoe. But I know that certain shoes, especially mules, are more like a love and hate. <gasps> but on, they look cute. Do you guys like these? I feel like there's definitely someone there who's like, no, these are really ugly. I get it, but I think they're really nice. What? Don't ask me any questions in my Lycra Mule or orthopedic shoes. Don't ask me any questions. I think these are great. I really don't hate them. I think they look good. These to me are a keeper. These are 100% a keeper. Hey, oh, this looks gorgeous. Mad shiny. I love the style, I hate the material. Literally looks like PVC. No, it's actually rubber. And it looks rubber. But do you know what? Yes, it's a dagger, 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 dagger. It's definitely a dagger-esque shoe. This looks way more my size, but I think these are gonna look gorgeous on. <gasps> cute. I knew it, I knew they'd be cute on. I knew they would be cute on. <gasps> hmm, weird. Okay, oh lord. You know where you need an actual dictionary to put on a shoe? Yeah, this is that shoe. You need a meeting, you need an Excel spreadsheet. It's just confusing. So the wrap is meant to go in front of your ankle. So how I thought it went, this is how it's meant to go. But they're still really cute. Do you know what's mad? I actually prefer it the way that I thought it was meant to go because I just feel like it's a little bit too strappy. Like I would love a shoe that looked like that versus that. Ooh, we've got a booty. Oh, this is a nice one. This is nice. This is very nice. I don't know what material this is, but I like the style of these. These are giving me sex appeal. These are made out of a fabric. I can't wait to see what these look like on. I love a boot, I love a boot that's open. We don't need to see too much toe in a boot because it's then an oxymoron. How can you cover entire ankle, but then show basically to the kneecap? Like it doesn't actually work. I hate when this bit is too big. Be dinky, be small, be fine. You don't need to see every knuckle on my foot, no. I feel like this might be knuckle exposing. Let's, let's see what this looks like on, okay? Your girl likes them. What is up with these zips? You know what, there isn't too much toe knuckle on show either. There, there's quite a lot of toe knuckle, but it's not unbearable. It's like my feet are wearing a cape, like Superwoman shoes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I like these, I really like these. Like if there's no gap, it could be a special trouser. Yes. Okay, there is a little bit more toe knuckle than I would like to be on show but i can live with it i think these are really nice Ooh, i know I, I know i love this style of shoe but it's in that same rubber ducky material but it's nice i think in the nude it looks way nicer i don't know if you guys can see that can you guys see that in this nude this rubber duck fabric looks cute Ooh, we go take an eye out with this. We go and take an eye out. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is gonna be exposing far too much toe. Oh, okay, this one's in a different box. Oh lord, this is my first soiree into the Perspect world. world. I had to. I just don't know how much support you're gonna get in this, but I, oh, I do, I do like the heel. I don't know, I think I've been convinced. Enough marketing will make you like a Perspect piece of, of shoe. So, I like, I like it. Your girl likes 
it's a belly there heel, right? That's basically what it is. And they're actually relatively comfortable, you know. <gasps> I was a hater in 2017. Today, I've got an actual pair of belly there heels and I'm living for them. Now, in all honesty, toes have to be looking fresh to rock these. Mine are not perfect, but I tried, I tried. Okay, this must be some boots, because it's such a big box. <laughs> the shoe is, it's like a brick, it's so heavy. So I've been trying to get some really nice wedges for like summertime season, you know, a little bit of time in Ibiza coming up soon. You don't need a heel, but you do need a wedge. And I thought, you know, perfect wedge, but this, you'll just sink into the sand in this. Anyway, let's get this heavy brick shoe on. It's so heavy, I don't, I'm so confused. Ooh. Oh, I like them, you know. Why do my feet not fit into any of these shoes? I feel like they're smaller than normal. <laughs> or maybe my feet are getting bigger. I think the wedges, wedges are actually nice. If I'm gonna keep one or the other, I'm keeping the wedges. I'm keeping the wedges. I think these are really nice. But they actually feel really nice on, and I love the wedge version. <gasps> I didn't expect the wedge version to look so nice. I'm going to go and pick these up in a larger size. They look good. I love these. I feel like these would look really nice on holiday. I never expected them to look as nice as they look. And even though they're heavy, they're quite comfortable. Who knew I'd like a little perspex wedge? Oh, oh, these are nice. I'm a bit concerned that this part is a bit too chunky. If you don't know, these are basically an Alexander Wang knockoff. Usually, I, I'm, I don't love knockoffs, but these are actually really nice. Let's try this on. Oh, so on some of the boots, the zips are a bit, a bit weird, a bit hard. Woo! Oh, I like that. As you can see, it is a really weird length though, this kind of shin length boot. I'm not used to that, but I think they look really good on. These are more like a winter shoe though. They're kind of a little bit baggy here, looking a little bit like a trash bag. So um, yeah, I wish they were more skinny here. I gotta tell you right now, these are not, they're not comfortable. The arch is quite high, but you know, shoes aren't always for comfort, but they're really nice looking on. Ooh. Oh, oh, these are sexy. Oh my gosh, these are like some red faux suede studded plastic all in the same shoe. This is a lot of sex appeal in the shoe. This is a sex appeal shoe, basically, and I'm not mad at it. I like it. I love the red. This red is so vibrant. And then this is perspect here and here. I really hope these look good on. But these are just giving me appeal. I mean, these are a Vegas shoe. If I ever go to Vegas, I'm like, I'll find myself a shoe like this to wear. Uh, these are these on. I don't know. Something that seems a bit pirate-like about them. That makes no sense. I know my descriptions never make sense, but there's something that just makes me feel like Jack Sparrow and the pirate. Do I like them? I don't know. Looks like a plate serving you toes for dinner. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. I don't hate, but I don't like love, love, love. That's what I gotta say. If you're gonna wear this like clear, like barely there heel shoe, then you really don't need to see all of this because it's gonna be really hard to wear this with an outfit. So these were the shoes that were literally all over, all over the website and they look like one kind of knock off Cinderella. These were everywhere, they had these in yellow, purple, black, orange, every single color and I was like, okay, let me try them on. What is the height? What is the gas on these? What are those? What are those? For some reason, I feel like they're actually gonna be cute on. Is that in my head? Have I been turned by the perspect lifestyle? Or is it gonna make my toes look like claws in high visibility pink? We're just gonna have to call these Ghetto Cinderella. And ow, it hurts. It's like being literally cut with razors right around here. Like the lycra version of these shoes were so soft and supple. Here is like daggers stabbing your foot. I'm gonna take these as a nil point. The buttons, they're really ugly. Now the Perspex continues in, in a boot, in boot form. Boot form and clear heel. This is what you call trend in a shoe. Again, these are all over the website. I couldn't, I couldn't get away. Love the way that there's this like 
um, faux leather like seam right down there. I thought I could try that. The zips, the zips are ridiculous. The zips are so ridiculous on these. As a shoe, they're just not my vibe. Just not my vibe. They look like a Wellington boot, but see-through, and it with a heel, and they almost look like a beak. Just yeah, just no. I mean, it's very Chanel-esque. You know, Chanel had their whole perspex boot coming out recently, but I was not gonna spend any of my coin on that. No. We're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna get these on. These are. This is actual high visibility neon. I don't, I have to say, Patricia, why on earth did I pick, what, what, why did I pick these up? What are these for? In life, where is anybody going with these? Are these glow in the dark? I think they glow in the dark. A glow in the dark boot. A glow in the dark boot. It's not that deep. M maybe they don't, but the way that this is reflecting, my eyes hurt. This is bits of glue, bits of glue. And this is the side where I feel like it's glow in the dark. And I feel like the holes are required basically so you don't sweat your feet to death. Because you know, wearing a plastic bag over your foot is probably not going to be the most cool option. Anyway, let's get this on. Okay, so in all honesty, this shoe is not going up. So I would suggest that you get it in a bigger size. Physically can't get these shoes to go up. I mean, yeah, Instagram baddie, yeah, but real life mum, no. I mean, if you had a shoot and you wanted to do something that was a little bit different, maybe, this to me is not a vibe, no. Now these are adorable, oh yes. Okay, so these are basically a faux Balenciaga, which I think everyone's doing. These are a really nice colorway. If you didn't want to buy like the actual Balenciagas, but if you wanted to try a chunky, multicolored trainer, this is an option. This is actually really nice. I like the way this looks. Okay, a young Balenciaga knockoff here. Do we hate knockoffs? I think a lot of people don't hate knockoffs as long as they don't try to be a fake version of the item. <gasps> they look so good on. I think they're really, really, really nice. Oh my gosh. I think their sizes are a little bit smaller. They're a little bit smaller than the average. I need to go a size up. Ooh! Oh, they're, they're like bouncy. They feel really nice on. Yes. These are really, really nice on. I know these are kind of shoes that is a love or a hate, but I definitely love these kind of shoes. I think these are better than the original. How many of you guys are sneaker gang? And do you feel like you have to wear do, like has to be Adidas or Nike or Puma or Fila, like has to be designer. Do you guys ever buy high street um, sneakers? Sneakers or trainers? Do you know what? If I can get these for 30 pounds, 40 pounds, why am I spending 90 pounds to 100 pounds for a pair of Nikes? And at least you can switch it up. I think these are banging. Okay. Right, I'm gonna give you my final thought of Ego. Okay, lovely people, that is me trying on Ego shoes. I don't know if it's called Ego shoes or it's called Ego official, and then it's E, I, I don't know. That is me trying on shoes from Ego, okay? And you know, I feel like I had a lot of requests to check out Ego and another place, Simi Shoes as well. And I will say I was pleasantly surprised. I have avoided a lot of these um, online shoe stores just because in all honesty, they kind of remind me of the shoes that you used to get at the market and they used to be 10 pounds, 12 pounds. And I really feel like the shoes that you get on these websites are really trendy. So if you're after a trend or a dupe of a shoe, listen, come on, there's dupes here everywhere. Most of the shoes are a dupe. They are a dupe of a designer pair of shoes. So if you, you know, saw a designer pair of shoes, but you couldn't afford them, of course, why not pick up the dupe if you are really really into it i felt like the quality was okay um there was a few bits of glue here and there and the comfort left a lot to be desired but do you know what? i've got really expensive shoes that are not comfortable so it's it, it all varies i'm gonna probably keep the trainers the mules i love those mules and probably the perspex wedges i know shock horror the others meh, not really um they were oh they were nice though they look good on i just don't need that many pair of shoes and i feel like i want to 
buy a few others from other places. So I'm gonna just send it back, save my money and keep the ones that I were like, yes, I really, really like these. What do you guys think? Where do you buy shoes from? Do you go onto Ego or any other websites? I'm just worried about returning them now because it's so big and bulky. I might have to keep all these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no! So for those of you who watched my last video, you'll know that I am doing a giveaway over the next couple of weeks. So make sure you are following me on my social, you can follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and I'm connected with those of you who give the most interaction. And then make sure you watch my stories because from this week I'm gonna be announcing different winners like every other day. And yeah, you'll be able to see who gets the goodies, okay? All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.